you see what Voss calls, calls the heavenly reality, Klein calls realized eschatology. And uh, in the Old Testament, realized eschatology, he says, intrudes into time embodied by earthly types. And so he says something like the pattern of things earthly, he's talking about earthly types, the pattern of things earthly embody realized eschatology. And what, what he's really trying to show there is that the eschatology uh, that is going to come with Christ in the new covenant that is intruding into time and space beforehand in the old covenant. And so he talks about it in, the, in, in like shells, like the earthly type is like a shell and it's, it, it points forward to Christ, of course, but it's more than just something that points forward. There is embodied in that shell, the substance of realized eschatology. And so what he wants to say is that the grace of Christ, what he would accomplish and all of the benefits are present. That's what realized eschatology is. That substance is present in those earthly types to be conferred to the people by faith. And so when, when an Old Testament saint comes to that type, let's say the sacrifice, the sacrificial system, when they come to the sacrifice and they look at that sacrifice as a type, as a symbol that points them to Messiah and his future work, and they, they come to that by faith, recognizing that, then that earthly type is able to, it becomes a means to confer the grace of Jesus Christ to them beforehand, even before Christ has come to accomplish it. That's in essence what I think uh, Klein is trying to, to give us in that intrusionary scheme. 